sure about this. Hey, I know there's no heart in the sand in an exotic location. But I wanted to do this here. The house where we dreamed about growing old together. You want to do that? You want to grow old with me? You said this to Brooke. That you want a future with her. Yeah, I did. When I came back to L.A., I had every intention of keeping my feelings to myself. Then I found out what Rich did with your wife. Brooke deserves better. And Rich is not capable of committing to her. But I am. Hi. Steffi. Good to see you. You're just here for a checkup, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How you been doing? Great. I mean, you know, life, newly married, newly CEO. There's some stress, but no complaints. Well, I'm a big fan of no complaints. We're just going to run some uh, routine tests. Okay. Choose an arm. It does. <laughs> Great. Hey. Hey. What are you doing here? Huh. You went home to your wife. Yeah. Well, Steph, you had an appointment. Figured I'd... Kill some time here, maybe knock some items off tomorrow's to-do list. Definitely my son. <laughs> Work's important. But remember what comes first. Uh, money? No. Steffi. Oh, <laughs> I thought, no, yeah, believe me, I know. And, and given everything we've been through lately, I'm, I'm gonna make sure she knows it too. Actually, I'm going to apologize in advance because that may mean more days like this where I have to get a little creative with my office hours. Hope that's cool. No problem. In fact, I encourage it. Well, I appreciate the support. We have come a long way. Yeah, we have. Thanks to Steffi. I mean, you and I, you and I might not even be speaking to each other if she hadn't gotten in the middle. Ten over seventy. It's good. Good. How's your diet? Healthy enough. Drink much? Well, like I have a glass of wine at dinner, but I work out and uh, I get enough sleep. Tell me about the stress you mentioned earlier. It must be tough running a fashion house. Oh yeah. But it's not work related. Is it personal then? It's actually funny. You know why I think Steffi was so successful in bringing us together? Why? I was so obsessed with our, our differences, you know, trying to find fault in you. I even, I even took pleasure in it, and I'm not proud to admit that. But Steffi made me realize I was overlooking your best quality. No, not your hair. Not my hair. Good as it is, right. not your hair. And I don't know. It's what your loyalty. It? To your family, especially your two sons. And I and I just I just want you to know that I really am grateful for your support. And I don't take that for granted anymore. I have to admit you've kind of gotten into my head about all this. I've always been a big supporter of Ridge and Brooke reuniting. All of us getting a fresh start. But I have to wonder if this particular go-around is really wise. I know she cares for him. Yeah, but is he good for her? No. Years of mistreating her, including this latest thing with your wife, proves it. Brooke needs to be done with him. For good. You want to hear the truth? 
I never really needed a heart in the sand or any of these big grand gestures that you've shown me through the years. Although they've been nice. But really, I just needed you. Your love and your commitment. And somehow I always found a way to screw that up. And you want to know why this time would be different? Oh, yeah, I'd be a fool not to. I'd be a bigger fool to make a promise I can't keep. I want this, I want you, I want us here. I want that future. Man, I can see it, I can see it clearly. I can see that same future. So, yes. Yes, I will be your wife again. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I didn't mean to make it sound like I'm all stressed out. I'm doing a lot better, actually. Well, if you ever want to talk to someone, then I could recommend oh, no, a great no, doctor. Oh, no, no, I'm fine, seriously. OK. Well, then I, I guess we could just wrap this all up, then. I'm going to go check your blood tests. OK. Go ahead and get dressed. Sounds good. Thank you. Not stressed. Not anymore. So you got dinner plans? You're not trying to invite me over, are you? <laughs> Why not? Because I have no interest in being a third wheel. Oh, give me a break. Just come over. Let us feed you. Listen, uh, you guys just uh, should spend time alone. That's, that's time you need. What you don't need is uh, daddy tagging along. Well, thank you, but I think my wife appreciates daddy as much as I do. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. <sighs> no, you're not. It's so stupid. I'm being really insensitive right now, going on and on about how lucky I am to have someone, and I. I know that hurts you a lot. I'm sorry. Look, of course we both want what's best for Brooke. But, but that's not up to us. Look, if Bridge says that this time it's going to be different and Brooke believes him, what can we do about we it? We can set an example. We can show her that we won't let Ridge walk all over us again. I stand up to Ridge all the time. You made him co-CEO. Yeah, well, that's not Fire really him, Dad. Down. Fire him? That's a little extreme, wouldn't you say? Call it a leave of absence if it makes you feel better. But I think Ridge needs to take a time out. It's warranted. <laughs> he needs to think about his actions and how he treats people. I mean, do, do they have such a thing as narcissist rehab? Oh, no, for God's sake. Look, if Ridge can't change his ways, he needs to be gone. From the company and from Brooks' life for good. On from Brooke's life. Well, <laughs> that's doubtful, considering he's probably proposing to her as we speak. I put it on you. Oh, wait. Wait. I don't know, Rich. I don't think I should put the ring on until my divorce is final with Bill. I'm sorry. I don't want to disappoint you. No, you're not disappointing me. It's, it's, it's the right thing to do, and I respect you for it. But there are certain things I do miss about our relationship. Yeah, I miss those things, too. Our long talks. Yeah, the long talks were great. That was... That's, I... I remember other stuff. Hmm. Well, why don't you show me what that other stuff is?
You know, you fought so hard and waited so long to be with Brooke, and now she's gone. And as happy as you want to be for me and my marriage, I want you to know it's, it's okay to be upset about what happened. For a brief time, um, I had the best. I had exactly who I wanted. But I can't anymore. I'll never have her again. And I have to come to terms with that. I don't begrudge you having what I don't. I want you to be happy. Just don't apologize for it. Then you should go. Go be with her. You know what? I just might. Thanks, Pop. For what? Being here. Always. Proposing? What are you talking about? Well, I don't know for sure, but let's just say the way he's been acting, I wouldn't be surprised. Are you sure you don't want to put it on? <laughs> of course I want to put it on. It's just so beautiful. But when I put it on, I want to leave it on. Mm, not like the way you think. Mm. But you're right, because once you put it on, I have a lot of work to do. I got to design the dress. Alert the media. Why did you bring me here, Brooke Logan? I think you brought me here. It's six of one. What? You are the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. was ever any doubt that we were supposed to be together, then... No, there isn't. And after that... Uh, <laughs> there it is. That giggle, I missed it. Oh, you've always loved my laugh. It's infectious. Seriously? Yeah. Life-affirming. Now I know you're messing with me. <clears throat> 
hear you laughing. I know I'm gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. We are. This is where I wanna be, right here. This is where we belong, right? And this, this is gonna be what belongs on your finger. In the future together. Forever. Me, my beautiful, one of a kind Logan. As happy as you want to be for me and my marriage, I want you to know it's it's okay to be upset about what happened. Hey. Leo? May I? Yeah, yeah. come in. Yeah. What are you doing here? Well, I mean, I, I said I'd wait for you. The nurse said it was okay, so. You know this is just a checkup, right? I, no. <laughs> I know, and I, I know it sounds weird, but after everything that's happened, I just, I just want you to know I'm here for you. Whenever, wherever, I'm here for you. Sorry about the delay. Oh, Dr. Campbell, oh, this hello. is my husband. Hey. <laughs> Liam, this is Dr. Campbell. Uh, yeah, hi, nice to meet you. Likewise, um, I have your results. Is it okay to discuss them in front of Liam? Oh, yeah, of course. Is there something to discuss? Actually, yes. Um, Something showed up in the urine sample and the blood test confirmed it. What, what's, what's wrong? Oh, nothing's wrong. <laughs> Unless you don't want to be parents. Parents? Wait, wait is, are you, <laughs> does she? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, you're pregnant. Wait, are, are you sure? I'm sure. Oh my God. Oh my <laughs> God, I, I never thought this would, I'm pregnant? This is crazy. After everything and my, my history, I... Okay, we're gonna have to monitor you closely, but I don't see any reason why you shouldn't carry this baby to term. Oh my God. Thank you so much. I can't, <laughs> I can't take the credit. You oh two did all of the work. That, well, that's, yeah, that's true. Um, <laughs> oh God, we're pregnant. I, I never thought this would happen. I know, I know. Oh my God. Oh my God.